Once upon a time, back when New Jersey was actually the Garden State, there lived a population of rural tree octopi. They lived in perfect evolutionary harmony, that is, hardy weinberg equilibrium, under the guiding noodly limbs of the flying spaghetti monster. This means that their population size was large, there was random mating, no mutations, no gene flow, no natural selection, and all was swell. They lived like this for many years, until one day there was a disturbance in the forest. Suddenly, the city of Trenton rose from the ground, and it was as if the sound of millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were silenced. The rural tree octopi found it difficult to adapt to their new environment. New Jersey was a dark, dark place, and many of these country bumpkins were unable to successfully compete with the city's inhabitants. Fortunately, out of the darkness, a single individual was born with a phenotypic characteristic that would change their lives forever. He grew a luxurious handlebar mustache. This adaptation allowed this individual to become more cosmopolitan, and as a result, he had a much higher relative fitness than the other tree octopi. Consequently, this mutation spread and the mustaches proliferated. Over several generations, a new species evolved sympatrically, demonstrating punctuated equilibrium. These gentrified octopi flourished, playing polo and going yachting to their heart's content. Then, one day, the governor of New Jersey, Sauron, commenced the great Squibbert invasion of 69. The Dark Lord and his minions descended upon Trenton, and the ceaseless drone of clarinets filled the streets. The poor urban tree occupy were forced to become nocturnal in order to avoid the noise, thus undergoing character displacement. A small band of octopi with elevated musical taste decided that enough was enough. They fled New Jersey and migrated down the Atlantic coast with no destination in mind. As they searched for a new home, the octopi came across a beach. Over successive generations, the octopi found that the sea had a cornucopia of resources, and thus they gradually adapted to live in the intertidal zone. Eventually, a group of octopi evolved gills so that they could live in the ocean, and all was well. The end. <laughs>